Hey guys, welcome back. Mama Sam here. So I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, like face to face. Uh, so I haven't done my hair and, you know, I just look kind of a mess today. But I was trying to do Overwatch videos and I'm doing the expert mode and the archives right now. And it was taking like averaging like 10 minutes just to get into a game. And I'm like, I'm not waiting. So I'll pro maybe I'll try it again tonight or maybe tomorrow night or something and see if my husband can help actually. That'd be kind of cool. So I decided today instead to make a ranking video. And today I'm going to do top 10, my top 10 favorite PS2 games. Since I did PS1, and I'll do PS2. Yeah, so I didn't really plan to do this today, so kind of off. Anyway, let's go. So for number nine, I have a game called Shadow Hearts 2. I don't really hear a whole lot of people talking about this game. I don't know why it's really good. Um, it's got a very fun group of characters. The What I liked most about Shadow Hearts was the battle system. It wasn't super difficult or crazy, but you had like a, a wheel and it was like a timed thing where you would have to push probably X at the right time in order to execute your moves properly. And it was RPG style, but it was really, it was a really fun RPG that was more, it felt more um, ahead of its time kind of as far as handling. And I just remember a friend of mine was like, here, you got to play this. It's so good. And I played it and it was, it was really good. Really fun. If you haven't played it, play it. For number nine, I have DDR Max. DDR was huge when I was like in, in my early 20s. It was everywhere. In every arcade, you had a bunch of different kinds of DDR. At home, my mom had got me DDR Max. So I got the mat. <laughs> that you plug into the PlayStation that you could dance on and it worked pretty good it wasn't like you know obviously like the really good machines that were in the arcade but it still worked and then even after some time it broke and it stopped working I would just play it on the PlayStation just with a controller and it was really funny because it was kind of like Tetris but you're just pushing you know the buttons as they go by and I still got like some strange sort of satisfaction out of it. <laughs> I don't know. The music is awesome. I mean, to this day, there's still DDR songs that I like to listen to. I can't really remember what my favorite was, but if I went through all of the songs, I could probably pick out. I remember I liked Butterfly, but like everybody did, but I liked other ones too. I think maybe Look to the Sky drop the bomb. There was just a really, a lot of really good music. And then I like got the CD so that I could listen to the songs. So for number eight, I have Dynasty Warriors 4. This is a super fun game for anybody that hasn't played it. It's, it's so fun. And what makes Dynasty Warriors so great is that you, anybody can kind of pick up the controller and play because it's more of a hack em and slash em type game. There's a lot of characters. The, the artwork is really beautiful. Um, and the characters, when they fight on the battle, they just look so fancy. Like, they do everything, like, super graceful. And so it's, uh, it's, um, it's like a, if I'm remembering correctly, I might not be, but I think it's like a Chinese game. It takes place in, like, China and a long time ago. And you're fighting for your dynasty to rule, I think. So they have a lot of really cool, like, they're all Chinese characters, I think. And they got a lot of really cool moves, and it's really fun. So for number seven, I put Tekken 5. I didn't know if I was going to give this spot to Tekken 5 or Dead or Alive 2. And Tekken beat it out. I really like DOA. I, I really like the DOA series in general. It's fun. It's, it's kind of like Tekken. It's just a fighting game. But Tekken, I think I just like a little bit more because I, I don't know. It felt more, it felt smoother. The story in Tekken is kind of, I don't know, they, they need to work on it. They do. Like if you're playing Tekken for the character development and the story, you're going to be really disappointed. It's kind of like watching the X-Files for the aliens. You're just going to be disappointed. That being said, Tekken's a lot funner to play. And I think the characters are a lot cooler in Tekken. I think they look cooler. I think the fighting style, are, fighting style is cooler. So that one won out. It's fun. 
just a just a fight em game, but a really, really well-made one. For number six, I love this game so much, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man. I'm sure if you haven't even played any PlayStation games, you've heard of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man, where do I begin with Kingdom Hearts? It's, it's, you start off with this, like, anime kid, and you're falling, and it's like all the Disney princesses, but it's like, the really well-known ones, like I think it's Snow White, Belle, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella, and you have to save them. So it's really cool because you have like, I think it was Square at the time. I don't know if it was Square Enix. I think it was just Square, but I don't know. Combining with like Disney, and they just made this really, really cool game. It's really fun. It's got a lot of Final Fantasy characters in it. It's got a lot of Disney characters in it. You play as Sora. And you have to, I think you have to go like save his friends or something. I don't know. But you team up with uh, Donald and Goofy. Yeah. The fighting is, is, it's fun. It's a little repetitive, but it's just, it's not like Final Fantasy RPGs where it's turn-based. This is actual fighting, like hand-to-hand combat. But it, it's done in a really cutesy, fun way. If you're a big fan of like the Final Fantasy series or Disney, you're going to really like this game. I remember Maleficent being like super hard. <laughs> that was probably the thing I remember the most. And of course, all the Disney characters. For number five, I have Soul Calibur 3. This game is super fun. You've got, it's, um, it's like Tekken. It's like DOA. It's just a fighting game. It's like way cooler than any of them. No. The characters are really cool, like way cool. Um, they had this mode where you could watch each, each character like a fighting demo. So you could kind of see what their style of fighting was. It's really acrobatic, the fighting in Soul Calibur. It's very, it's kind of like um, Dynasty Warriors in the sense where it's all very beautiful and pretty to look at. You get to actually fight with weapons in Soul Calibur. Your character, most of them, I think, all of them, if not most of them, have their own signature weapon that you get to use. I haven't played it in a long time, but it's really fun. So for number four, I have Silent Hill 2. Not, I like Silent Hill 1 more, but Silent Hill 2 is, is really good too. In fact, I think Silent Hill 2's story is better. It's, it's debatable, but I do feel like it's a little bit more like, where Silent Hill 1 really focuses on how scary the gameplay itself is. Silent Hill 2's story is what drives it. It's it's really tragic and it's really heartbreaking and very, I'm sure, relatable for some people. I mean, you know, don't like, it is crazy, but I, I'm sure that there have been some people in their lives that have been, without spoiling anything, that have been in that situation. Now, I'm not saying they would ever do anything about it the way that the protagonist did. But I could see people, you know, being in that situation. It's very unfortunate. It's still just as scary as the first one. You still have the great music. You have the really scary radio. Uh, all the scary monsters, you know. Um, the gameplay is pretty similar to the first one. It might be just a little tuned, a little bit finer, but it's still pretty similar. Still very haunting. Still really hard to play in the dark by yourself. For number three, oh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's We Love Kadmari. This game is a game anybody could pick up and start playing. You play as this little, a little alien guy and you get like one little item that you're rolling. And you, the goal of it is to roll bigger and bigger and bigger because you can only roll up items that are the same size as your Katamari. So your Katamari is the ball that you're rolling with your character, which you start out with the prince, but they've got a ton of characters that you can pick from to play. As you get bigger, you roll up bigger things. So you go from rolling up things like, you know, thumbtacks and, um, food left on the floor and tiny little bugs to eventually rolling up things like people and houses and animals and the world. You play through different maps and each map has like a different theme. Like there's one where you have to roll up a thousand cranes, a thousand paper cranes, and then one where you're a sumo wrestler and you have to roll up a bunch of food to get him really fast so he can compete. Tons of levels. And I cannot talk about We Love Katamari without mentioning how awesome the soundtrack is. If I ever did a top 10 of my favorite mu music and games, this would probably be number one. 
We Love Katamari has the best soundtrack from any game I've ever heard my whole gaming life. The game is fun. The music's amazing. It's super easy. Anybody could play it. If you haven't played it, play it. It's so fun. So for number two, I have Tomb Raider Anniversary. So Tomb Raider Anniversary is a remake of Tomb Raider 1. And when I say remake, it's very loose. Now, it is true to the first game, but where the original Tomb Raider 1 on the PS1 had like, I don't know, 30 levels. Tomb Raider Anniversary has like 10, 12. That being said, the game is still really, really good. Lara looks great. She handles so great. I mean, if I had just any complaint about the original Tomb Raiders, like one through four or one through five, Lara handled like a friggin' tank. So I love in like Anniversary and uh, Underworld, I really do love the way she runs a lot smoother. She jumps a lot smoother. You got to get like new outfits for, for Lara in Anniversary. You could change her outfits by which I thought were really cool. One of the funnest things about the Tomb Raider games too, which I have, I've never mentioned, is you get to play in her house. You get to play in Croft Manor. So you still, you go through most of, you know, like her famous stages in the first one, the things that you remember about, they're gonna be there. The dinosaur, it's an anniversary. Uh, Nat Love, of course, will be there. So it's it's pretty good. It's just, a, it's just a remake of the original, but with a lot better handling, better graphics, better, uh, game mechanics as far as your weapons and stuff go. And my number one favorite game for the PlayStation 2 is The Sims series. Surprise, surprise. The Sims 2, The Sims Bustin' Out, and The Herbs, Sims in the City. My three favorite games for the PS2. I can't choose between them. Bustin' Out is really good because you get to travel to different locations. There's a lot of worlds. You know, you have a car you actually get to go to. The Sims 2 is great in that it's, you know, a true Sims game. You have your, you had story mode on the PlayStation. I don't know if they did that on PC, but on the PS2 you had story mode and then you also had live mode. I believe that was The Sims 2. I could be mistaking that for busting out, but I think it was The Sims 2. So you could do story mode or you could do free, free mode. I used to play, it was also multiplayer. I could play The Sims 2 with my husband. That was really fun. And then of course, I love The Herbs. I uh, absolutely love this game. It's so fun. You have a bunch of different districts, which you could see as worlds, kind of like in The Sims. Um, you The build buy items, they're, they're so like colorful and just, they're so diverse and the different, worlds that you can go to they're really unique in their own sense too and their clothes are really unique the one downside to the herbs is that there's not a lot of clothes to pick from but what they did have it was more like quantity over quality they were really really cute the hairstyles are really really good the sims is just yeah it's my favorite game ever uh even more than tomb raider depends on what i'm in the mood to play but the sims usually always wins out so that's it. That is my top 10 favorite PS2 games. The next time I do a top 10 will probably be my top 10 favorite PlayStation games, period. The, the whole system from one to four. I can't five yet because I haven't gotten my PlayStation 5 yet. So that's gonna be a lot harder to try to take from all these really great games and compress them down into 10 of my favorites. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.